Hello, my name is Kamal Abad, and I'm here to talk about Thomas Hunt Morgan. Thomas Hunt Morgan was an American geneticist and embryologist, and was a major part of what led to modern genetics and a theory that genes are carried on chromosomes, the mechanical basis for inheritance. Thank you. Thomas Hunt Morgan was born on September 25th, 1866, in Lexington, Kentucky, into an aristocratic family. For his education, he attended the State University of Kentucky, and then received a PhD at John Hopkins. Morgan soon found a mutated white-eyed male fly among the red-eyed wild types. When the white-eyed males were crossbred with the red-eyed females, they produced all red-eyed drosophila. Thus, white was proven to be recessive to red. However, when the F2 generation was bred, there were white males. Thus, Morgan came to the conclusion the white eyes was a sex-linked recessive trait, meaning that the trait was carried on the X chromosome. Another experiment led Morgan to discover linked genes. Morgan noted that the gray-bodied, long-winged flies are the wild type, most common found in nature. Morgan also had a few flies with black bodies and short wings, mutant type. Morgan bred a purebred wild type with a mutant to produce all hybrid offspring, whose phenotype were all gray body and long wings. He then crossed female hybrids with male mutants, black body vestigial, hy hypothesizing according to Mendel's law of independent assortment that the phenotypes of the offspring would be in a 1 to 1 to 1 to 1 ratio. However, the majority of the offspring corresponded to the parental type, while, if, while a few were gray body vestigial wings and black body long wings. Morgan concluded that these genes travel together on the same chromosome and thus are linked. But crossing over does occur, which leads to the black body long winged and gray body vestigial winged. What? Impossible! Natural selection. Hugo de Vries must be right. Variation in populations is caused by mutation. For this, I will need my assistant, Shervin Fox. What you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside your trunk? I'ma get, 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 get you drunk. We need to cause mutations in these drosophila to see if mutations can be irritable and cause radiation in populations. How are we gonna cause mutation, baby? Radiation. We've done it. We found one with white eyes, which is different from the normal ones with red eyes. Let's have them mate. Interestingly enough, all the offspring from the F1 generation have red eyes, thus the white eye gene is recessive. What will happen if we mate the F1 generation? Wow, only the males got the white eye traits, thus it is a recessive and sex linked meaning it's on the X chromosome. Yay! For my next experiment, let us test the Mendelian inheritance is true. We will cross a black vestigial uh, recessive fly with a homozygous wild type fly with long wings. Let's have them mate. Love. Now all the F1 offspring are heterozygous, which show the traits of the dominant wild type fly. What does that mean? That means we have a 1 to 1 to 1 to 1 ratio of independent assortment. Wait, what? The ratio isn't 1 to 1 to 1 to 1. These genes are on the same chromosome, thus they are linked genes. What causes this weird ratio on the common? It must be crossing over when a gene breaks off of a chromosome and attaches to the homologous one. Wow, you're so smart. <laughs> it must be crossing over when a gene breaks off of a chromosome and attaches to the homologous one. Whoa, you're so smart. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> my name, my name is Are you kidding? It must be crossover. When a gene breaks off of a No, 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 crossing over. Dude! They're the same the thing! Same.